Right, so we're going to move on to the next segment. This is the smoke wall. So we're going to all pull out a lighter from the bag and we debate on where it belongs on the wall. So if it's got good weed, good prices, good selection, good seats, games tables, toasties, milkshakes, all that other stuff, top shop. If it's got most of that but missing one or two, blazing. Most shops are just normal, solid, like run the mill. If it's missing a few bits, smokable. And then as I always say, a shop to let you smoke weed is better than any shop in the rest of the world. So just because we're spoiled for choice, it's not for us, you know what I mean? So no hate on any shop. The worst it is, it's just not for us. So we're gonna pull out a lighter. So I'll let you go first. And just randomly don't look. Oh, my arms are so small. What is this? What is it saying? Pap pap papillon? Papillon. Oh, papillon. Papillon. Papillon in the pipe. In the pipe. In the pipe. Have any of you been to it? Yes, actually. You I know mean, it? Yeah, actually recently. Nice. Um mm, I'm gonna go blazing. Oh uh, wait, we're gonna Ooh. just talk about what it's got. Like, it's, <laughs> you know, oh, jump I love. Uh, okay, okay, okay. I love the good vibes. But, uh, no, so <laughs> I always jump in whenever it's a spot. I like. I'm like, this is the top shop. Yeah, <laughs> I feel you. <laughs> I so it's talk about their menu, their seats, stuff see, like that. So you know what I mean. So how am I supposed to remember the menu? No, but what you thought of it? Like, if you thought it was a decent shop, like oh, not there. Okay, like, okay. we don't need a detailed report on their menu or that. Just kind of the vibe and overall what you thought of the shop for. So I'm not gonna lie. It's one of those coffee shops I pop into and then pop out because yeah. the pipe is there. Yeah. So it has a lot of options. Yeah. But it has a nice little seating area. It's like you walk in and then there's the um so you there's buy a, your weed the on the left there, and, and then, then you go into the right the, and there's a load of couches all the, yeah. it's a long line of couches but comfortable it's super enough. Comfy. It's super yeah. comfy. It's really bright in my opinion. I like bright mm. coffee shops. Yeah. I can't see. <laughs> You're you like the more you don't like the yeah. too bright, you like more of a like like Joker a, or dampering kind of yeah. big kind of candles and a nice <laughs> well, ambiance. It's not too futuristic. I yeah. like a weird kind yeah. of grungy spot. Yeah. Kinda. Yeah. yeah. It, this one's not that grunge. Okay. I, it didn't give grunge. It gave like, I don't even know, like Tame Rocker Boy. Okay. <laughs> okay. okay. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> tame Enjoy. Rocker Boy. <laughs> I want to go there. It's a new genre. Blue. It's very it, dolphin. Yeah. Like, I don't know how to explain it, but you know, yeah. like a surfer boy or like that kind of vibe. Yeah. 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 It no, nice, it's, a, it's not a bad shop. Yeah. It's an all right menu. I don't think it's too it's much. It's a lovely location. For. Yeah, no, it is. Beautiful it's right location. off the uh, Albert Pride really? Market and yeah. all that right behind that it. That square is so good. Yeah. Cool. I cycle by it a lot. And I love actually cycling through that square. Yeah. It's very calm. Yeah, or little playground, yeah. all this shit there. And yeah, all there. really nice energy around it. Oh, that tests your memory. Because if I didn't stare at the sign, I don't even know if I would remember that. <laughs> <laughs> no, <Well, laughs> it is a bit out there. And it's only because I was passing, I grabbed the lighter. So, uh, like, I, I haven't smoked it. I remember smoking it when I first got over here. I was staying in the pipe for a few days, just, like, jumping around hotels when I first got over. And I went in there, sat there. It was nice enough. Mm -hmm. And then when I went in the other day, I had a look. And the menu was all right. I, bought, I can't remember what I bought. But the couches are nice and all. So I think yeah. I think it's a little bit out. And if you're out that way, it's probably better. So I'd say probably solid spot is probably the yeah. best. I go out I mean? every other month to get some tea from this one shop on Saturday. Wait, wait, a coffee <laughs> shop? No, no. Okay, it's regular yeah. tea just at the market. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Nice. So it's great the tea, though. <laughs> There's some lovely spots along there. Yeah. Really, it's a nice place to just go floating around. Right, so pass yeah. that over and okay. I need to take one out. I can't look. <laughs> Ooh, Tony's. Oh, Tony Valvoas. Oh, one of the newer shops in town. <laughs> nice shout out, Tony. Have you been there? Um, I've been there, but it's quite a while ago. Yeah. When it, when it was when opening it was, up. Okay, um, yeah. And I must say, pity on me. I'm sorry. I'm really, I'm really sorry. And I'm sorry for myself because the hash. I would love to see the y hash menu. Yeah, the, the, I um, hear that. Yeah, I'm not a hash Tony, smoker. Tony, so. is a, Tony is a hash lover. Yeah. So yeah. I'm, really, I'm really putting out big big hopes over yeah. there or I, yeah. i'm pretty I, sure i've heard good things again yeah. i walked in i looked at the weed menu but the rest of the lads i said it was the Everyone hash said, menu seems yeah. very good in there yeah so yeah. um and it's good big shop you know i mean three floors yeah exactly. oh, was it so. three floors? yeah so that's it was it was I known it was, it was known as coffee shop three floors but because oh, okay. i had in the window three floors but when tony was telling me that wasn't the actual name it had some yeah. other name but it was, they were just advertising that they had three floors so everyone just called the coffee shop three floors no. which literally <laughs> yeah, it goes right up you know oh, the way because up. 
but the balloons Balloo, two doors the, down they've only got the two, one floor yeah yeah, yeah the well, one, one up above, above it, yeah. yeah they're nice as well though the renovations yeah. in there is lovely yeah. um i think we have a lighter from them hopefully to come out someday but um yeah, no, but yeah, Bowl's shop, Bo's. it's nice, like, especially the load of room, you know what I mean, for big yeah. groups and stuff. Yeah, because um, he's uh, very central. Huh? Yeah, good yeah. locations, yeah. I'd say that, Rembrandt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, I'm going to check Tony definitely, yeah, maybe, because no. I have it on my list for so long. I want you to know yeah. who it is. Like, sometimes yeah. you just, like, yeah, get caught up in the day. Yeah, no, of course. And if you're going somewhere new, you want to actually have, like, an hour or two to just sit, chill, yeah. 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 take your time, yeah. with a spot, yeah. Yeah, no, definitely. Very nice. But no, definitely check it out, especially if you're a hash smoker, because I've heard good things about the menu. And as you said, Tony is big into his hash smoking. Mm. So, like, he started off just doing yeah, videos, going around coffee shops and all. And like, didn't and he used to do kind of like smoke sessions? Yeah, I think, I think he, some yeah. of the I think shops, for uh, yeah. Boring Youngins, they used to do, like, they'd bring people up and just let them sample all their weed and yeah, stuff. And and just like get them and shit, like, yeah, and yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a cool way to have started from, like, hosting smoke sessions in someone else's coffee shop yeah. we're like now come into My mine shop, yeah, you know what yeah, I mean like I mean, well so done man yeah, fair play that's it that takes a lot of graft to like then actually have your name up on the yeah. spot it's not three floors no, it's not the else you've rebranded it's actually, that that's no, I your worked name my ass off that. he yeah. has um that's best sick. joint is his brand is kind of thing like best joint is in yeah. best place to go yeah and he, i think he wanted to call it that and he was telling me the it's too you're not allowed to advertise that it's a coffee shop that much. Ah, okay. And the word joint was too kind of whatever yeah. the government say, so we couldn't. <laughs> but like on his brand That's before nice that. That's no, Best joint. Yeah, That's best joint. Like the was, best joint yeah, yeah, the best joint in town, like old school kind of shit. Yeah. But um, yeah, no, it's a nice shop. So I'd say it's probably up around Blazing. I mean, I don't think it has much extras as, as in the way of milkshakes or games tables or anything. Like it has the extra floors, but it's not the most comfortable I think it's more just wooden seats and stuff but you have yeah. the extra seats so Did I think it's between a, like solid and no, um, or would it be up there I ha honestly I haven't chilled yeah. it. I have to check out the hash as well no I think because the menu is decent enough I think yeah. it's go good there, enough to be yeah. with, especially with the extra room and so if you don't get in a lot of shops I think yeah, that is nice. enough to give it into blazing yeah location so um, where's that bag we'll good place to make a game to. night yeah definitely yeah. yeah he was saying we could host a smoke session there yeah Big shout out to Tony. Yeah, <laughs> legend. Hopefully get him on the show one day. I've seen it to him before. Yeah, I've got a video with him. We're going through um, coffee shops. You can check it on YouTube. Oh, yeah? Life by Nikkei. Okay, I must check yeah. that out. You have a YouTube channel as well? Ooh. Yes, I do. You can see also some playthroughs. Okay, with, uh, nice. Game uh, and stuff. So we'll, uh, we'll be able to tag your YouTube channel on the YouTube then. Nice. That's our mm. first actual other YouTuber we've had on. Yeah, nice. come on. Yeah, a lot of most people are first time. You can't <laughs> you can tag people's Instagram when you put up a YouTube video, but it'd be ah. nice to actually tag another YouTube channel now when we have it up. So yeah. nice. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. going to go viral. We're going to push. Yeah. I definitely. <laughs> we'll de we'll watch it. a video and use playing the game before we give it a shot. <laughs> Learn the rules. <laughs> uh, what did you pull out? Uh, I need a different one. I pulled out Old Church. Oh, we've already done Big that Big love, though. Oh, yeah. Always. Oh, yeah. Done that last yeah, episode. No. Yeah, literally. Yeah. <laughs> Must have put it back in. Nice. Oops. Thank you. Oh, do you go with Heck Elders? Oh, nice. Shoo. Just around the corner. Love you, it. Have you been to Heck Elders? Shea Guevara. Have you uh, been to Heck Elders before? You don't I know? Have it? Not either. No. no, it's just around the corner on your way down Central Station. Okay. Nice little yeah. spot. Yeah, like it's it, it just got renovated. It. <laughs> yeah, it's a, yeah. It, it is one of them. You probably wouldn't even notice as you walk right by. It's right on the corner, right before uh, Central. No, that's Voyagers. No, uh, it's halfway between yeah. there and there. So along the Canal Street, but halfway, just like a little, like you're walking down house, 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 then coffee shop. Yeah, I've walked house, past house. it, yeah. but I've yeah. not been in it. It's got yeah. Shea Guevara's head outside. Well, it used to before the renovations. I'm yeah, not sure if it still does. Yeah, they changed the sign now. They did a lovely job, though. I can't yeah, lie on the logo. But even no, the, no. the renovations inside are lovely as well. It's much yeah. nicer than it used to be. Um, yeah, and it's a decent enough menu as well. You'll always get something 12, 13 euro, yeah. you know what I mean? I have bought a few that was actually quite tasty. Yeah. I honestly can't remember. It's been a while since I bought from there, but yeah. anytime I did. They also have Fudge This Is yeah, they, And I remember yeah. they used to have a it's few other ones, quick. and then I think they got yeah, uh, taken away. They used to have like Nesquicks and all these other mad yeah, things and stuff. Weeks. And then uh, the powers that be said it wasn't to be. Yeah. So, uh, but yeah, no, it's a nice little shop, and it's central as well. I'd say a lot of people forget about it because it's like on that kind of quiet street that unless you're. Unless you know it, you wouldn't really find it unless you stumble on it coming up from Central yeah. Station or something. But, mm. um, yeah, no, overall, it's a nice shop. It's comfortable enough inside. Like, I think they have the soft seats and shit. So, um, it is quite cool. Yeah. Hmm. 
So I think I haven't sat in it. I've only bought from as I flowed it through. I remember being in the there team. on New Year's Eve, I think 2018, and the some coffee shops because it's New Year's they stay open for a little bit longer. So we ended up being there at like two or three in the morning. Then they close the door and we were still in there at like five in the morning. And New Year's was blazing away. The whole lot <laughs> oh, was great. That was before the renovations and all. So that was a good crack. Different times. Yeah. Oh, Amsterdam when you're so much free. You <laughs> yeah. just do what you do want. What you want. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that was quiet, mental. though. I love the quiet. Yeah. yeah. It was. It was a beautiful to actually see. What, city. during lockdown? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like, yeah, I used to walk from down. here to Lloyd's Plain when I was living up there, and I'd see literally nobody. Yeah. Damn yeah. square, Lloyd's of Strat, everything dead, you know what I mean? It's like a zombie movie. Uh, yeah. And to have such a beautiful city to yourself, yeah. where literally there's not one other person in eyesight, nice you're like, wow, well, this is all mine now, you know what I mean? It's crazy. felt like you could conquer everything. And then they brought you in the go. curfew. Yeah. They were on the curfew that no one was allowed out past 9 p.m. or something, unless you had a dog. I had just got a dog. I'm out everywhere. Me and the dog are floating around just laughing at people, like, ha-ha, stuck in your houses. It was great. I loved wow. it, too, during yeah. Corona. You could just, like, go out, like, with Doggo. And, um, also, like, that it makes you move. Yeah. Yeah. Because you're kind of, you get so used to sitting somewhere. Yeah, you just like, go right, to a I shop. to get out. Yeah. Yeah, no, I hiked float. so much. Yeah. Before I moved here, that's all I did back in Ireland. I was like, right, in the car, get the dog, let's go yeah. on a walk. Like. Now you're just saying, but that's the great thing about Amsterdam. You just have to walk outside your door and it feels like you're on a night out or a day out, you know what I mean? Like just yeah. walking to the shop, you're walking by beautiful buildings, yeah. canals, everything, you know what I mean? So it feels like a constant holiday just floating around the city, like it's amazing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, there's like so many tourists around, so d like people are always like in kind of like a happy vacation. Yeah, I, 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 you're I, always talking to someone new. Yeah, a new yeah. story, new, yeah, new character, character, everything. And then they find out you live here, like oh wow, you know yeah. what I mean? They can't What's believe it. Like? Like, like, it is I'd amazing. Everyone it always, is. I'd love to live <laughs> here. I'd love to live here. Like when I'm working in the coffee shop, <laughs> people are like oh, I'd love to have your job. I was like yeah. Well, yeah. I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty great. I tell people I'm happily retired. It's not even a job anymore. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? All I do is smoke weed and hand weed to people. You know what I mean? It's it's hardly work. You know, I've done real work in my life, so this is not a job anymore. It's just getting stoned all day for the crack. Like that's but. what's what's so beautiful about the Dutch system that you can just like meet new people, chill with them, smoke with them, and then yeah. really learn how everywhere around the world people are smoking like yeah. I met people doing what from you're Turkey. doing I met people yeah. from um, Saudi Arabia yeah. like India everywhere everywhere. Yeah. everywhere you can you can say there's a death penalty on it but yeah. people don't give a fuck yeah so they're still fine yeah. Life they're still away. gonna go and blaze yeah. and exactly. buy their weed and text yeah. their dealer yeah well i remember Whereas imagine if everywhere in the world had places like coffee shops yeah, oh, yeah. Stuff. yeah. like it'd be yeah. as accessible as bars and that stuff you like. could just walk in and have a joint with your friend yeah. and then go about your day yeah. like yeah. a cafe you just go in yeah. have your cup of tea a cup of coffee smoke a joint and go around like yeah. it's yeah. just yeah. normal the world would be a better place yeah. Yeah. but uh, i remember when i lived in australia and staying in the hostel and i was smoking with a girl from uh, hiroshima in japan where they dropped the atomic bomb and like i only know that as like a disaster zone somewhere where a bomb happened and to smoke a joint with someone who lives there you're like so what's it like now and she's telling me about where they rebuilt and i'm like it's just so bizarre there's some people you'd meet and they're also smoking a joint like she's there stoned and i remember she's like mm. i'm so stoned now after <laughs> smoking with us like but it's crazy just every week in that hostel then there's a smoke with different people and then here's the same every walk of life every yeah. sex gender race religion everything Age. yeah yeah everything it's just ages, like everyone and, the, the, and not, people who smoke have the same kind of mindset then you know what I mean people who really smoke they're all on the same kind of level which is a, a uh, nice good friendly level instead of the, all the drunks on the same level you know what I mean yeah, it's a generalised respect yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. very much literally just that respect. Yeah, walk the, past the bar you're going to hear some noise yeah. Yeah. walk past the coffee shop you're going to hear some music yeah that's it you know it. what I mean <laughs> ever just chilling well, having a nice little yeah, chat that's like, when people yeah. start getting all like shouting in the shop and like hey hey that's not this it's not this kind of place it's a yeah. coffee shop you know what I mean here to smoke a joint like I'm not saying don't have fun, but don't be shouting and being yeah, idiots, you know what I mean, ruining yeah. it for everyone else. You're scaring the high. Yeah, yeah. There's, <laughs> there's a bar across the road to do that stuff yeah. in. I think that's also probably, like, a big problem about the people, like, mixing, like, um, alcohol. also in, in Amsterdam, like, alcohol yeah. and weed. Yeah. Like, you, I'm on vacation. And that kind of way, kind of spoiling it, also yeah. for them, yes. but also for everyone else, because then people are like, oh, okay, they, they, they are, like, high, um, thinking that's, like, normal for stoners um but yeah. it, but it's not so so um 
kind of like put us in the same box in yeah. the same way. Like they're yeah. kind of even with the no smoking on the red light district. Yeah, and stuff well, they're trying to cause the drunks to trying to ban yeah, stoners. Yeah, yeah. You know to what like I mean? Clear out the I just stand it with the drunks. Like, yeah, you go as a girl into the red light like in at night, and you have like drunk people like these men. They're heating it up. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, bouncing off up. everybody Jesus, you yeah. feel like in a fucking zoo yeah, yeah. no it is like an animal no respect that's Whereas what drunks they are they were all just blazing yeah like you yeah, yeah. you hey, know what I mean <laughs> like have a good night yeah. you all good <laughs> you know what I mean it's not like creepy like oh shit yeah. like run like uh, yeah. yeah it's yeah, a different yeah, mindset from yeah, people no, definitely. yeah definitely well, you um, know why don't they just try it yeah, <laughs> no, know, just, yeah. but that uh, that's it like if people yeah. have their whiteies and go no it's never for me I won't do it again or they get paranoid once like no I'm like you just haven't found the right weight yeah. you yeah, know yeah. what I mean yeah. like you, you tried yeah. it once it didn't work like oh no but yet these same people will get drunk get in a fight get arrested fight with their missus something like this and then do it again the next week yeah. that's not for you either but yeah. you've still no problem doing it the weed made you feel sick for a few minutes but yet you're like no I can't do that this stuff's ruining your life and you still do it every week. You but know what I mean? It's a different mentality. That's them. Yeah. That's society normalizing yeah, it's alcohol it's legal. to keep us in like the same kind of like routine, the same bubble, yeah. the same comfort to yeah. be pissed up, to be hung over. Yeah. Whereas they're trying to keep the cannabis such a taboo. Because yeah, it opens your mind and makes yeah. you ask questions. You're kind of like, wait, should we be doing Like, I don't know if the government there? made alcohol too dumb the masses and keep them at bay but if they didn't they found something that works already you know what I mean because yeah. as long as people get drunk at the weekend to forget their problems hung over half the week to, to forget their problems again and look forward to the weekend to forget their problems again yeah. they'll never question that else and just go through life and routine but when you're stoned and you're thinking all the time you'll question you know I mean, you have time yeah. to question stuff instead of being just a drunken moron all the time I, th I think on the other side we also have to see like sometimes the negative sides of weed um also the negative sides on yeah. for example social media um where it's like m many videos are like for example yeah let's smoke out the car or let's yeah. smoke out the whole room or you know like let's get no someone oxygen someone always has to go too big and too and ridiculous you yeah know like I mean? this, this this going too big like um it's also it's also there with weed yeah that we have also to talk about you don't need to be the biggest smoker to yeah. be the coolest yeah in that's the room. it no. it's not yeah. a competition it's yeah. about mm -hmm. you just finding to yourself yeah smoke what you want if you want yeah. pure happy, if you want a bong if you want about that herbal mix you want you know what i mean thc thc isn't literally for everybody you know what I mean? Like for some of us, yeah, we can consume it on a daily basis and go a better day. But for some people, it literally will have a negative effect. They yeah. shouldn't. They should stick yeah. to more medicinal yeah, CBD. Yeah, no, CBD. definitely. Yeah. But that's it. There is something out there for everyone. There yeah. is a cannabinoid or a strain for everyone. You yeah. know what I mean? Definitely. Mm -hmm, but definitely. Uh, we never decided, I think, solid spot or for heck elders. Oh, yeah. Um. Yes. Yeah, solid yeah. spot. I'd say because they like they have a good it's, menu. It's, it's good enough like menu, that. good enough location, it's good enough everything, but it's not anything more than good enough. You know what I mean? So yeah. I think solid yeah. spot is enough. Yeah. So. Mm. Cool. Right. It's also the mental health aspect. I think yes. if somebody is severely mentally ill, should probably not consume high yeah. THC anything. No, yes. definitely like not. Like sativa, a yeah. high haze. Uh, yeah, no, it's, it's definitely stay away from all room. haze and sativa. It, it can, it can, it can yeah. trigger shit because you also yeah. like, see your demons. And that's, yes. I think, for all of us that we um, have to yes. face some darker sides of us, some loops where you're yeah. just like stuck and um, yeah. everything is paranoid and you just have to deal with everything that you don't want to deal with yeah. on a usual basis yeah but, um, probably like being able to deal with it or being open to deal with it makes yeah. us these kind of people that we are yeah, the functioning yeah. sounders that we are yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that like whole paranoia around the haze can kind of be depleted if you can actually step in control of your mind you know what i mean so um. i pulled out hashtag oh yeah uh, we we're only up there last night and actually we're gonna host a smoke session there on the ninth this podcast will be over for the ninth. Yeah, so the 9th of October, we're hosting a smoke session in uh, Coffee Shop Hashtag. Um, they're only, have you been there yet? Have you been to Hashtag? No. So they're the old Barneys. Do you remember Barneys used to be on uh, Rembrandt, uh, behind Rembrandt? Yeah. They had the Barneys, I don't know if it was a different name, but it was just off Rembrandt, up from the Bush Doctor over the bridge. So now that's Coffee Shop Hashtag, so they've taken it over. It's a great menu. Yeah, you really you love the hash out of there. Yeah. It's called oh, hashtag yeah. for a reason. If you're in yeah, hash, no, it's yeah. definitely yeah. Uh, 
like lovely spot every time we've walked in like bud tenders really friendly yeah everything. like really nice place yeah and even a decent weed menu as well yeah. for me like is the their instagram at hashtag yeah yeah yeah, yeah. 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 and I, I was putting up hashtag hashtag last night you know I mean? <laughs> but uh yeah so we're having a smoke session there on the ninth if you're seeing this now you've probably seen it on the instagram but if you're only seeing it now the ninth at about 7 p.m roughly we're going to have a little it's not a grand opening because they want to do renovations and then do another opening so it's like a soft opening we're going to just show mm. the, show it off it's a small enough shop so it's going to be full you know what i mean yeah. so they said they're going to give us out some of their weed to sample in the volcano balloons they're going to nice. throw some weed out they even said they're going to give us a puff coat to give away Ooh, to yeah. somebody yeah. Yes. so i'm thinking we're just gonna i have a load of raffle tickets left over from our quiz night so i'm just gonna give everyone that attends a raffle ticket i'm taking one too and you're taking <laughs> one and then we'll let somebody random pull out the ticket and if we win it don't hold it against us but whoever wins it gets a puff goal so yeah if there's not more reason to come and get high with us um yeah so yeah. the 9th of october if you're around come along and um, get high chat some shit and maybe win a puff goal mm -hmm. so um yeah but overall hashtag it's got Milkshakes, good menu, comfortable seats. Ice coffee. Ice, yeah, yeah, it's got milkshakes. Yeah. You get me with the milkshake. Yeah, yeah. No, a yeah. lot of places get the extra nod because yeah. of milkshakes. Yeah. I, did, I think they do because toasties. Yeah, there was someone getting toasted yeah. at 12 o'clock last night. Because I think, especially like even if you're coming on holidays as a tourist, it's a nice extra treat yeah. rather than just like a hot a chocolate or a milkshake. A hot yeah. chocolate or a milkshake are two of the things you want with your joint. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Like yeah. everyone can have a Coke or a Sprite anywhere, you know what I mean? Yeah. But it's something different. It's a special thing. Yeah. yeah. But, um, yeah, mm. no, I definitely put them up blazing or if not between top shop yeah. blazing the other way. And I think it's... Because it could be just with the seat and it's quite small. Yeah, I was just going to say it's small. It, it doesn't have a game table or anything. But but so there's a few little things that make a top shop a top shop it doesn't have. But it's definitely up there, weed wise, hash oh, wise, 100%. price wise. And I think wise. you need to get recognised. Yeah, they're, they're only open Honestly. two months, he said. Yeah. Two months are only and open. Like we're so. not Oh, like I'm not even being biased I walked in I was so chuffed with the hash menu like yeah. they have a load of filter hash and stuff that's like 12 13 14 it's not starting at 16 yeah. and it's good quality they're Moroccan tagine if you love Moroccan hash oh my god it's beautiful yeah. and it's absolutely like it's top quality stuff so they do they have a lot of passion and love they're both tenders and all yeah. really no yeah they're very friendly so yeah, and all, it's so a really it's a nice refresh I think to the community it's nice to get a new shop that's not a second of another shop yeah. you know what i mean because we've got the green place two plug two and three turps army two you know what i mean so we're losing shops and just getting the replica of another shop so yeah. to have something brand new it's always nice you know yeah. what i mean so yeah i want a more games approach yeah like foosball oh yeah, yeah. like some magnetic oh uh, another oh, one like, uh, have you been to coffee shop spirit Spirit, where's it's that? It's in uh, the, what's in, the pipe? Not yeah, the pipe, like uh, Jordan. Jordan, 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 sorry. Yeah. Oh, I don't go so, there that So on the 30th of October, another smoke session, <laughs> we're having the Butterhood <laughs> Fancy Dress Halloween Smoke Sesh. So it's a fancy <gasps> dress smoke session. We did it last yeah. year in Spirit. It was And savage. it was a very good... Uh, yeah. I dressed, I've seen the Instagram. I'm going. I dressed yeah, up as, I love Halloween. I dressed up as yes. Fat Tor when he let himself go. I had a blonde wig and all, so... Uh, <laughs> love uh, that. Yeah. finally a superhero I could dress up as. <gasps> but um so yeah we're doing it again on the monday before halloween so yeah. uh yeah monday and then about 7 p.m as well roughly because yeah. we probably do a recording that day um but yeah so fancy dress 30th we might even i was saying them other things that we have for giveaways we could do for the fancy dress as well mm. them few other bits say do some at the fairy house and save a few for oh, we'll just yeah. random people that done a good we costume spoil. Yeah. oh i'm yeah. going all oh, out now and then yes no dude there'll be prizes <laughs> last for year best we done yeah, uh we done a christmas one out in spirit as well oh. I wanted to dress as Santa Claus and do the whole come up and get a picture with Santa Claus thing. Nowhere in Amsterdam sells Santa Claus suits because they don't do Christmas here, so I couldn't find one. Santa Claus. Yeah, yeah, that's why. But I, <laughs> I, I, uh, I got wrapping paper We're with like the a, Irish vibe of it. <laughs> I got a Christmas version of my logo with me as Santa Claus and got wrapping paper and we got people to donate edibles and like dab tools and all this stuff and I went around and handed out presents to everyone. I will donate. So I we're hoping to, to recreate that this year but we want to go full the girls Santa. as elves all dress up as Santa everyone come up get a photo with Santa and get a present yeah. and stuff so that there's no so date cute. on that yet but sometime in December there will be a Christmas smoke session as well yeah. so. so you just um, want to bring more community yeah. like even the way you're saying about like I want to go somewhere with this foosball we need stuff to do yeah. stoners yeah. aren't yeah. 
the same the character that, do nothing. That's, We're I fuzzy like motherfuckers. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's why I mentioned spirit. Yeah. I'm more an they, online. They, they have five yeah, pinball machines. Yeah, kind of have your brain going doing something. But yeah. you can't stay in that mindset forever. Yeah. So I have to yeah. leave in order to complete the yeah. comfort. It is. If the, that makes sense. And then come back. You feel fresher then as you step back into your stuff. Especially yeah. when the vibes are good. Yeah. yeah. Especially. It's like it feeds your soul. Yeah, yeah. of course. Talk to people who are like-minded and also just adventure you know what i mean yeah. that makes yeah. sense like adventure i would love something to play every day, you a know game what I mean? with someone i don't know yeah, yeah. you know and yeah no definitely friendship. but that's what i was going to say i know it's not a game you play with somebody five pinball machines in spirit a pool table and some other little arcade machine then yeah. chess boards games and also oh my gosh yeah. i've only been to coffee shop get down get down oh, yeah, it has a few nice pool tables well. yeah, yeah. Pool ta- but that's all they have the, is pool you've seen the so games tables the coffee shop like the little it looks like a a coffee table and it's a computer have yes. you seen them yes they they're great those. i haven't played on them oh though. they're we play on them for hours there's one mm. like it's like frustration you got to get around the board and get all your pieces home Ooh. and if you land on somebody got to go back it's called around the world here but uh we play that for hours so sitting there smoking <laughs> you can play four player then there's another version like it's a bit different but you can play six player on that it's like a euro each sit there for ages of smoking yeah, and playing because we just play pool when yeah. I go like we're yeah. pool no, all day the, 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 there's about yeah. 50 different games on this you can just slide it along and pick different games on these see on these I want to see this next time yeah no play. definitely the, pl- the plug have one we talked about them last show the plug uh, mm. tree in Rusland ba- uh, Baloo have one Pre to Me have one um, a good few I think uh, I Get Down like have one Pre to Me's one though this I feel one. like everybody be looking at you everyone <laughs> like looks at you when you're playing there oh yeah yeah. I forget people are around when I'm stoned. It's just, I think it's, just, it's like I walk around like just stoned and mm-hmm. think so. I'm, I'm on, I'm like I'm a ghost or something. I'm just looking at people forgetting they can see me too. So like I don't care <laughs> when I'm out. Just, the the yeah. for me. I'm just like, oh, well. It's like they, I feel like some people that get, uh, stay in Pre-Demi just get too stoned. Yeah. Too it, it is a very yeah. tourist yeah. shop. So, I think because it's, it's a long way out. <laughs> yeah. You can't see the door. Yeah. You're like, you oh, can go down a few flights of stairs. Go past the security through the beavers everything. Like, oh fuck that man! So getting out of prison, like, <laughs> yeah, like the movie room, like they want you in there for hours. Yeah, yeah. it is. But, but I have been there for hours. I've watched like I, the always show Marvel nice movies. I've been there for two Marvel movies yeah. back to back. Milkshakes, slush puppies. Yeah. You know what I mean, it's w- w- yeah. that's what a great experience to smoke your joints. You know what yeah. I mean? From people that smoke in their garden at home to me sitting. They're like beds in there on the top There's floor. Yeah. You, you have to, you have to take your shoes off because you're you're that like lying on it. They'll bring you fucking chicken wings, hot dogs, <laughs> toasties, milkshakes, slush yeah. puppies. Yeah. You oh, name so it, they'll bring meal. it to you. Ice creams, yeah. pancakes. And you can just sit there watching mm-hmm. movies, smoking joints for hours. And we put yeah. them on Top Shop a few weeks ago and people gave me shit over it. They have it's a bad reputation. Overhyped. Yeah, but they yeah. have a bad reputation, this and that, but... There's a reason, like if you're talking about overall everything, they belong, belong on top. When you can give that much game tables, movies, yeah. food, drinks, their menus got better, got better prices. They've got more choice. They've now got Canadian menu, California menu, Dutch menu. So it is better than it was. And I do get the whole tourist, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But overall, it's one of the best shops in the city. You no, know you know what, what you has need to, to do is go in there and pretend you're a tourist. I got three papes multiple times. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> and they're pink. Yeah. Give it to me. I was so happy. I think we have a load of them pink papers, don't we, Giver? Yeah, actually, we robbed that ashtray. But if you lift up the ashtrays under pre to me, yeah, it, it actually take your says... Take for a second. Oh, yeah. So if you lift up the ashtray under pre to me's thing, it says... Nicely stolen from pre to me Amsterdam. <laughs> so it's so like, they're pretty much it's like a little they're telling you to steal cat. them from pre to me. So <laughs> no, you, you guys don't. You shouldn't have told me that. I will take Once from they the told me, I'm resigned. If you, if you write something <laughs> on the I'm bottom, I'm a cuddly person too. Yeah. If I see a nice spoon or something, I'm like, yeah. I'm <laughs> taking chopsticks, cups, yeah. Yeah. hashtags. Yeah. If I like it, yeah. if it's really oh. nice, I'm like, I'll never see this again. Uh, <laughs> I, well, back when I used to drink, I, I'd never leave a pub without putting like a, a point, a half a point in my inside pocket and just walking down the street drinking. I had so many glasses and random shit just because just you could. Just just I'm taking this. You <laughs> yeah, like, you know what I mean? Come on, you know? Yeah. What yeah. Stupid say? shit. I feel bad. Yeah. No, Only cutlery. I will never steal from a shop anything like that. I'm a, no, I, I panic too much. Uh, but if it's in a hotel or something, yeah. yeah that's, and they've a funky weird. Yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> <that's part laughs> <of> <laughs> it's not. We're still being thieves. We're bad. I'm sorry, mom. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, mom. Don't watch. Yeah. 
<laughs> well, here, your mom is also my mom told me yeah. <laughs> She was like, get that yeah. mug for me. She knows. <laughs> if she my knows. mom seen a nice salt and pepper shaker, she's like, oh, throw that in your bag then. Yeah, we've you all walked out of a That's a nice tray there. I got a cocktail glass of a woman's body. Oh, oh yes. You're you telling me like you that. Steal yeah, that? That's definitely coming home, you know what I mean? <laughs> and you only have one. You're not getting a set. Yeah. You can't yeah. rob a pair. You're like, yeah. okay, look, we're having one tacky thing yeah. to stand there. Yeah. <laughs> one free glass a night. Yeah. We've all done it. Other than that, yeah. yeah. I get I get literally caught for stealing towels from a hotel. No way. Yeah, at the reception. No. I way. know. This How did they catch you? I know. I know. Yeah. Um, excuse me. How did they catch you? Uh, well, they, they were like um, being like. To check the room or something. Seeing those towels yeah. missing. No yeah, yeah. way. Yeah, 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 yeah. And at the oh, reception, they were like. Um, Maybe we're like missing some towels. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh. I have to unpack them. Like, I think oh, I left shit. them by the pool. We don't yeah. have a pool. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I folded them in, no way. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> did, you check, did you check? Did you check under like the bed? I think I kicked them under there this morning. Run. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Go up and have a look there, but yeah. that's I have hilarious. No oh idea what you're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even use towels. <laughs> <laughs> air dry, I, dry. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't agree with them bad for the your environment your windows don't open yeah. far enough yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I threw them in the bin I don't agree yeah. with towels yeah. you'll find them in the trash out the back yeah. uh, that's hilarious yeah. <laughs> hotels they know yeah. Yeah. No, that's it. it's all part of it I mean, they buy in bulk because everyone's yeah. taking everything you know what I mean? <laughs> Especially yeah. them little stuff, you know what I mean? <laughs> if you're allowed to use it all there, why can't they take it and use it another time? If, you know what I mean? It's the same logic. You were petty enough to come and tell me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah you really cared for these two yeah. towels. Wait till they like, notice the shower on, curtains no. are gone too. <laughs> Do base everything. Yeah. Oh, they always have the best mattresses in a hotel. Yeah. Uh, well, time. depends how much you pay for your hotel. I've slept in some bad hotels oh, yeah, in my no, travels. I've got a few springs in my back. Travel, I, when I remember going around Thailand, I wouldn't even have my hotel. I'm on a boat going from one island to the next, like looking online, That's going, it. where's the cheapest hotel? It's like 10 euros. I like, will take that. And you get there, it's a little shed or something. You're like, okay. <laughs> the pictures looked a lot better. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, I've stayed in some. Yeah, a lot of them are nice, but you've stayed in some crazy places. Yeah. I remember even staying over here. When I was into railing years ago, and we were going, we stayed in some place. There was four of us, and just to get up the stairs with our backpacks on, you had to crawl because this next stairs was so like close on top of you. Had to crawl up and then get into our room. There was no toilet, but there was a shower. But instead of having a shower head, it was just a piece of copper sticking out of the roof, and you turn that on, just water just trickled out of that. And then I think the next day, one of the lads had like chocolate, and there was all uh, moist nibbles out of that, and all. I was like. No. Yeah, glad we're only here for the yeah. night. <laughs> Amsterdam, yeah. full effect. Oh, stop. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, yeah, so where do we put this in the end? We're going to put it between Blazing and Topshop, I think. Just yeah. It's close enough to up there, but their size Absolutely. and their few missing bits. Just so. because of the size, maybe it's a bit small, but honestly, I think it really needs to get yeah. recognised. And it'd be interesting after the renovations what they do, you know what I mean? Yeah. We'll throw the lighter yeah, back in that. the bag. Yeah, then, absolutely. He, he, I, when we said we're going to do a smoke session there we're like oh we can do it like an opening he's like no no we want to renovate and then we'll do an opening so yeah. there should be another Beautiful smoke session there then another right time but um, for now it's just a soft open just to welcome yeah. to the neighbourhood let's all go down but smoke should be a up. good day yeah yeah hash fine him Dirty Jean. Uh, Ever since I had Portuguese hash, my life has been changed. Portuguese hash. Portuguese, Portuguese hash. hash is so, it's Moroccan. Okay, yes. But it's just so soft mm. and perfectly crumbly. They're right over the border, so yeah, it's close. It's close. Yeah, it's you're gonna so fresh, good. like yeah. Oh, I've been loving when I find something as close as I can. Yeah, here. do that. Yeah, as close as you can. So. <laughs> I love the old school, the like Moroccan hash. I yeah. love that. Like the filter hash, I love it. I love how stony it is if I want to have a nice like mong. Mm. But like the old school Moroccan hash, it's beautiful. Flavor is like, uh, it's there. I was just, I was going to say, do we have enough time to play our game? But on the bottom it says play time 20 to 40 minutes. So <laughs> I think it'd be pushing it battery wise if we played that. But it definitely we're going to, because if we have the games night, we'll have you on to play this some night for yeah, sure. Because I'm interested. We'll play it ourselves some night for sure. Because, yeah. You'd have to tell us again off off the air what the the rules are because it seems so complex. You know what I mean? It's There's a lot so of easy. It's yeah. So when easy. you get into it, it's easy it's enough. Easy like because it is stoners playing it, you got to keep it a bit easy. You know what I mean? <laughs> no, a beautiful idea though. Like with both of your products, yeah. it's bringing a different. As you're saying, it could literally be played with all the family. <laughs> you yeah, know what I mean? It. And yours kids, as well. Kids don't know what they're everything. playing. Yeah. Yeah. 
No, that's no it. I love, love the innovation and just yeah. the, the amount of different people we've had on. We've only done what? This is the eighth episode, and mm. everybody's come on. It's something different and something new, yeah. and you know what I mean? And everyone just trying something new and seeing and a gap a in the passion. market. Yeah, 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 that's it. Passion is the main thing, as yeah, we said earlier. Really. But they just see a gap in the market saying, this could work, you know what I mean? Yeah. Someone else might like this, or and that's it. And then you realise other people do want this, and yeah, the community yeah. grows. and no, and it's bringing brilliant. the benefits, especially both of you are medicinal. Yeah. You know, they've come and very, very eco friendly and everything. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's I love it. I need it. Yeah. We need it. More to women, uh, everything. To be honest, like the eco part, I wouldn't even. I'm t- if I was taking a set and that, you know what I mean? I'm getting the thing ready, cheapest way, how I can get it done. But the fact is, you are going and thinking in advance, eco friendly, even if it costs that little bit more or a little bit more work. It's nice touch, you know it, what I mean? Like it it's, has to be. Yeah, it has to be done. You, like, you it put needs something to be the you have, you have out to into the world. Be the it? change you want to see. Like. Exactly, yeah. exactly. And, yeah, like, it's really <laughs> like she put something big <laughs> out into the world and stuff. So. There's a fly attack there. <laughs> So um, it's representing you. Don't, you. Yeah, you don't yeah. want you don't and you don't want to pollute. You know, you don't, you just want to help. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But you don't want to be a a, pro, a cause no, to the, the problem yeah. and be the solution yeah. and or the norm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The only like problem I have even. with global warming and the whole change is as long as America and China and that are pumping out and destroying it. The whole world could shut down forever and still not make a difference. You know what I mean? It's like showing up to a disaster it's with a brush and it's a uh, dustpan and brush. You're going to clean up a little bit, but you're not going to change much. You know what I mean? So until the big nations and the big people that fuck up this world do it, mm. everything we do is just a little bit. You know what I mean? But again, every little helps along See, the way. My mom always said charity always starts at yeah. home. It That's starts it. at home. Yeah. So... If you I'm never going to be able to fix what's going on. No, but you can America. help the environment yeah. around you. Well, what we can do for the people that are here around us, there's less like we're around less toxins. Yeah, no, you know of course, what I mean. Yeah. I can't fix over there, yeah. but little by little, I think that needs to be their uh, part of the world be a little bit cleaner yeah. than their part of the world. Overall, the world's getting fucked, but yeah. I mean, we might survive a little bit longer than they will. Yeah. But yeah, it's like it is again. It's a, a while well, the big nations are just polluting and polluting it's a it's a hard fight to fight you know what i mean but it's nice mm. that people try you know what i mean to keep it if more people start again the next generation will do it more like the weed like fucking yeah. like even with uh, gay marriage like when i was born in ireland it was illegal to be gay and then like a few years ago they voted in gay marriage yeah. so in our lifetime you can see change you know what i mean weed wasn't i definitely never thought it was gonna be legal in america and canada yeah. and everything and now it is fast. so all this stuff is all this gateway you know what i mean it's all stepping stones yeah, I hope I live to the end of the century. <laughs> I want to know how far it yeah, gets. Like, it would be beautiful I, I, to see it. Yeah, but I don't think it would be. I fear for what it's going to look like. That's the other thing, you know what I mean? What I yeah. love that. What though. society but I think, will be? Though, in a mad way, if cannabis, cannabis could save lead, the world. In a weird way, I think it could calm a lot of people down. But in a million different if ways, it could save the world it, for money-wise, for agriculture, for everything. You know what yeah. I mean? As as well as personal benefits yeah. as you were saying like to calm people down medicinally yeah medicine. like a it literally it's benefits. a key to changing a lot of things in this world yeah. you know what i mean the the eco stuff you could recycling's nearly no problem anymore because of hemp and yeah. all you know what i mean then medicines all that stuff building mm. everything there's no more deforestation everything like yeah. that you know what i mean there's a million reasons to have it legal and have it highly fucking grown and in every form from hemp to medicinal to fucking recreational to every type of weed you can grow just get it grown everywhere like literally fill the world full of it like plants should not be nature shouldn't be illegal like it shouldn't be illegal it's growing like it just is how it is that's it literally yeah we get we also get to educate the youth like stuff yes yeah um, but that's it they are more educated now and they do they're not getting the scare tactics that our parents gr- got grown up so it's yeah. as i said ev- every generation would be that more open-minded on every issue so it's for the next generation you have to make the changes nearly definitely yeah, yeah. yeah. they don't know how easy yeah. they're gonna have it just like stoners you know what i mean just mm-hmm. going around buying weed everywhere never have to buy it off somebody in a car on the side of the road and wait for somebody yes. for two days to text you back to get a 50 <laughs> bag and, and you never oh know man. what you get yeah. Yeah. And what's on it they're going into shops and growing. buying stuff with labels and all this mm-hmm. in fucking 20 years time 
so glad that's even, the past right now. Yeah. Really. Well, not for a lot of people, but yeah. for me personally. Like, if we went back home, it's kind of, it's pretty much that. Oh, man, you the thoughts I mean? of having yeah. to go back and text and some guy to see if they're around to drop you down a bit of weed and then they'll show yeah. up and, oh, it's just it's a mad. nightmare altogether. Whereas I even saw when I was down in Mary Jane, some of the people were showing me even on their phone the, that you could actually just go through the different strains. Like when you were listing them off, I was yeah, like, I saw them actually, like you can go through. And I this think is that you order online like thing? Like 100 grams. Yeah. Yeah. yeah and so delivered well. to your house. Yeah. Well, you have to be a patient. Yeah. yeah. The yeah. doctors. Do like, have it? I think they have it in the UK as well. Go, yeah. The mm-hmm. UK yeah. is also mm-hmm. um, a similar, um, I guess. But you have to go through, like a doctor has to um, say, yes, you are a patient. Yeah. yeah. And then if you have a prescription, um, the prescription goes for a certain strain, a certain product, basically. But yeah, okay. you have this whole system that you can uh, search for and that you can talk to your doctor with. Like, for example, Beautiful. we also got like terpenes. We try to go after effects like th- um, that people can tell yeah. us how did you feel so that we can give back to the people yeah. that r- nice. want to learn, the doctors that want to know what can I give yeah. to someone who has an anxiety um, or what can I go for if I want like more... Um, like pain relief or yeah, pain, pain yeah. relief or terpenes or yeah. whatever like a certain kind of CBD yeah. Yeah. yeah the terpenes yeah. alone yeah. never is. mind it the is. THC yeah. very powerful and and that's what that's what's what the beauty is about the German medical system and that we can um you know show it to doctors yeah. show yeah. it to patients educate it's mad that you yeah. have to re- you re- you're educating doctors these people who yeah. know medicine and you have to educate they them on something it's they never really learned about no the of course not you know what I mean? no. I'd so say for on. a lot of them <laughs> you even yeah. said endocannabinoid system yeah. they'd be like what yeah, yeah. sorry what <laughs> yeah. yeah that's not a system yeah. like, where is it I think it's a planet somewhere yeah it's quite literally <laughs> one system like the yeah. milky way yeah yeah, yeah. 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 system oh i've been God, there yeah. <laughs> that'd be good if you ever make a sci-fi movie called it that's you know what i mean mm. that's the area they all live in i can see copyright don't anybody take that <laughs> yeah <laughs> Uh, yeah. I know, but that's a beautiful thing. It's a nice way it to is. come about it. it is. That they're not even just learning from just some a new book. It's actually from people, results, research, everything from the ground. Like uh, powerful. And even with the terpenes, like you said, you have lavender yeah. within your packages, which is yeah. also uh, what's it? Uh, Lenanol is the terpene, which is the exact same. You can get it in lavender, the same as you can actually get in cannabis. Oh yeah. Yeah. So they so both have the same actual like effects. When, you, when you were saying terpenes help, is terpenes not just flavor? Um, is there more to terpenes than flavor? Yes, one well of the your flavor, smell, taste. So basically, yeah. terpenes are in every fruit, plant, whatever. Yeah, whatever you smell, it's terpenes, y- and they, yeah. they interact with your body. But um, does that have med- different terpenes have medical yes, benefits, yeah. not yes, just flavor? They do. Yeah, yes. but okay. see what you're tasting is what's going to have the effect. Okay, yeah, yeah. I it's suppose, like if you yeah. have orange juice, it'll have vitamin C in it. Yeah. The same yeah. as mangoes. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Never even thought of it like that. Yeah. yeah I just like terpenes, I just thought was the flavor molecules, you know what I mean? No, really, really big effects. Even just from smell. Like yeah. if you smell a bag of lavender. Therapy. You, yeah, literally you have that automatic oh, relax, yeah. the chill, eucalyptus, it's very yeah, good for calm and cleanse. Yeah. yeah. Like yeah, a lot yeah. of benefits. Inflammation so yeah. um, is, one, is one point. Relaxation, like all these anxiety stuff. Yeah. It's, um, yeah, a lot of terpenes. And it's, it's a big field that um, definitely needs a, yeah. lot, a lot of attention. Yeah. 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 And, uh, and as it gets more and more legal, it's m- easier to research. And they're just going to learn so every, like, jumping forward. You know what I mean? Now yeah. that they've learned so much underground, how much are they going to learn now that it's legal? Everyone's doing it. Everyone's yeah. learning it. Everyone, you know what I mean? It's. The future of cannabis is going to yeah. be amazing, you know what yeah. I mean? It's so I remember, actually, there was a, there's a German elder. Oh, I don't know his name. Kind of old dude with a voice box. And a uh, really, like, absolute gentleman. But he went around at one of the events with just, like, a bag of all these little squidgy jellies. And he was like, it's not for the THC, it's for the terpenes. And you could smell it. And it wasn't like a smell of candy from the bag. Yeah. You were actually getting this like terpene smell from like, the bag. Like chewing on the smoke. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? And he was like, you'll notice everyone will just have this little extra mellow. And I was like, and you could. You no felt way. this extra calm from it. Really, there is power <coughs> in there. That's amazing. Yeah. And I love that people are fine. Like even them... Yeah, triple hit syrups. People are finding not only ways to make edibles, but ways to make them different. You know what I mean? Yeah. This is mm-hmm. he's making just a pure terpenes yeah. edible. You know what I mean? Another one of the guys we had on a while ago. They've made a drink that will hit you three times. 
because it has three different flat fats or something. So one is a fast acting, so you should get a hit early. One is a normal acting, and then one is a slow acting. So literally, when you take this edible, it should hit you three different times. Jeez. And he said so he worked like on it for like two years or something like that. Kind of effect. It's crazy, like just to be even thinking, like you know what I mean, like. But it's because they're bringing it down to the actual like biomedical yeah. level of it. Yeah. It's not just like oh, we're just going blaze. It's like okay, how does the body actually break it down? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like the different certain people, like one of our friends, he can literally eat edibles all day, whereas his brother makes edibles, but he does not get high at all. Did like no from effect. it now he can smoke he can get high he'll dab, dab he yeah. can get high but if he consumes or edibles no, no effect it's it just crazy is, there is just those people yeah, yeah. Can like you? affect it different but that's why it's in it yeah and then they're kind of yeah system. that's it yeah. i bet she was naturally just a good guy happy and <laughs> yeah, yeah no very good really energy nice. yeah. yeah 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 no yeah. really that's my mom <laughs> yeah. The hippie yeah. Christian. She yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she's just on that level, so she had an edible and she's like, Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> she 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 had like a few effects, but it wasn't I didn't even think she was having any anything happen to her. Yeah. She just wow. seemed like it was a normal night. So, so. did she eat, she smoke? No, nah, she just had an edible. She's okay. never done anything. Oh my okay. Gosh. Nah. So she's a hippie that she's never done hippie anything. That never done anything. Okay. <laughs> she's That's the herbal kind. Okay. <laughs> nice. But yeah. again, a lot of power. Still yeah. a lot Still of powers. There. Yeah. It has its own benefits, you know what I mean? Different. My dad's the one that smokes. So. Okay. Also, what with drugs, I think a fun fact is um, that the word basically means like herbal stuffs. Like, it doesn't mean anything bad in yeah. that kind of way. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. It's just kind of been stigmatized yeah. Yeah, to be yeah. that way. Yeah. I, I, some people don't even like it being called weed because it makes it sound like a horrible plant. You know what I mean? Yeah, like yeah. it's a dirty thing that grows in the ground. Like mm -hmm. a lot of people say, no, call it cannabis or marijuana. They wouldn't even call it weed. Yeah, like I, it's cannabis. slang, so I don't give a fuck. But like I get that. You know what I mean? Have more respect for the plant and call it a little weed that grows. I love, I love, I love the name weed, but I think yeah, that's no, because I'm from um, like from a not from the English kind of. Yeah, language. so like it's, it's my second or third language. Yeah. Um, but I think weed is, is a, a cute name. Like, like also like stoners. I like yeah. the word stoners, but I wouldn't like in German the word kiffer. Okay, Kif yeah. I don't like that. German. Uh, yeah, I've seen videos on like they have all the different translations and then the German one at the end, and it's always something mental compared to like <laughs> everyone else sounds something similar. And then Germans have just <laughs> mad words. Like you know what I mean? it's, a, it's a crazy language, German. But uh, uh. it's different there. It's a uh, like. Would you smoke openly back there? If you're in home or... What part of Germany are you from? Um, I lived uh, close to Holland, so uh, okay. North Westphalia. Okay. Um, like near Cologne. Okay, nice. Um, well, it's difficult. Like, I wouldn't yeah. recommend it to no one. Yeah. You um, have one of the medical cards? <laughs> yes, I have. Yeah. yeah. But you um, have, so, for, so for now, you can legally smoke until the laws change because you have a card. Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. yeah, if you have a prescription, then you can't smoke. But um, it's still that, you know, like at the moment, the, the situation is still fucked up. So you can basically get um, fucked up anyway. So we had that um, fair. Now in, in Düsseldorf, which is uh, where, where I lived, and uh, police was controlling all the cars. They were making general checks um, oh. with everyone who's co was coming who were coming to the fair. And obviously, even if you smoke the day before, um, or if you're a regular smoker, then you will have T samples of THC inside your body. Yeah. And it's so unfair to, like, yeah, basically everyone. Yeah. So it's, it's a complicated situation. In some kind of ways, it's very open or opening up in, in other yeah. kind of ways um, for example even if weed will get legal or when it will get legal in 2024 then you're not allowed to smoke um, between yeah everything from 8 in the evening you can smoke until I think uh, somewhere in the morning so it's all time so and all when dawn you know what? when the sun is down <laughs> vampire <laughs> smokers <laughs> creatures yeah. come that suits out me. <laughs> yeah. I don't exactly. get up till it's dark most Absolutely. days anyway. And, and then, then you're not allowed to smoke within 200 meters of um, schools yeah. or okay, public stuff. That <laughs> That's, yeah, the same with the coffee um, shops here, the, that real, yeah. so. Yeah, but it, like, um, if you, like, really hold on to all of this, um, then you can only smoke at, like, some little certain yeah. parts. But again, I always say any legalization is better than nothing, you know what I mean? It's stepping stones. The fact you went from medical to some sort of recreational, 
they're yeah. saying, oh, we can't do it now. A few years, they'll change that, you know what I mean? Like, I heard a few Canadian yeah. people saying when it went from the system they had, medical kind of, to fully legalization, there was more rules brought in, so it kind yeah. of got worse when it got better. So yeah, it's, it's the same it's, with Germany. They just don't know they how to deal with it. some little you know bit of I mean? control There's over There's people who don't know way, weed like, making yeah. laws on weed. You know yeah. what I mean? And this oh is the problem. You know what I mean? This is the problem with the world. There's people that don't know real world stuff deciding real world problems mm. and it's did you hear about the uh, 50 gram maximum in a mouth and month and uh, three plants that you can grow like that's germany's plan yeah so yeah you like can you have grow maximum 50 grams oh, but, I, yes. but you can also have three in plants month. yes uh, do they you not realize mm. what comes both? off a plant <laughs> yeah. like a lot more you gotta get rid of it as soon <laughs> as it's harvest yeah. Yeah. I mean, I three plants, it all like, in you one can, joint. like, basically yeah. make the whole room. The and is it, yeah. is it yeah. like Dutch <laughs> law, it's only yeah. outdoor grows, or can you grow indoor as well, do you know? Indoor as well. Okay, because yeah. Dutch you law, you can only grow outdoor. No, you and can grow for the yourself. whole way through to flower? Yes. Okay, wow, nice. Because, yeah, yeah, yeah. like, Austria is a mad one. You can have them the whole way, except until a flower. But yeah. there's also yeah. a funny, funny rule. Like, yeah. you can get, like, um, all the clones, or the little ones in Austria, and just buy them like that. Yeah, yeah. that's what they just make clones like there, don't center. they? They can grow them up to yeah. clone yeah. level, but and then... Then again, funny in Austria, some years ago, there were artists um, who were putting some weed flowers behind um, glass. Yeah. Like, in a cave, it was art. You know, it was activism and art at the same time, and they got, like in big trouble with police oh, yeah. and stuff oh, okay. you know, like, fucking yeah. art like grow oh, up you know okay. what I mean but it's because they're making a yeah, statement yeah no that's it it's you the art that they're mean? Th if it's not just, just a picture they're drawing no, it's a whole movement yeah. they're starting you know what I mean I get that but yeah but beautiful pictures. that they made the yeah. movement. That's a nice but way to do it. But people have yeah. to sacrifice for shit to get done you no, know what I mean there has to be martyrs yeah. and there has to be people to lead the way and yeah. take the hits and to Literally. as we said for it to be easy like us and even easier for people in the future you know what yeah. I mean people have to go through shit times and yeah. like I've got arrested over weed and got to court over weed so mm. the fact that I might never have to do that again is amazing you know yeah. what I mean and my nephew and shit will never have to might never have to get arrested for smoking a joint in yeah. life because everywhere else would have caught up by then you know yeah. what I mean so hopefully we'll see how it is in 10 years time no, but uh, yeah very much but, uh, no go on go on, go on. Just even I uh, one thing, just on like mams with weed. Every mom that is like smoked, they like stopped during the pregnancy or whatever. But I always ask them, what would you prefer your child to be doing, drinking or smoking? Yeah. Straight away smoking. Of course, just they're not bringing no trouble to the then. door. You know what I mean? You know they're just yeah. You're not out fighting or mind, getting yeah. anything. I mean, for fellas it's fighting, for girls it's a lot fucking worse. I can happen yeah. with drink. You know what I mean? Exactly. So it's. Um, yeah. all the way. Yeah, you yeah. know what yeah. I mean. There's just no drama. There's just no. yeah, it's beautiful. But uh, yeah, no, my the battery warning's up, so we're gonna have to call it a day. So uh, thank you very much if you're still watching. Yeah. Thank you to Twenty Somethings, Ooh. to Life by Nika, and as always to the Faded Fairy. Uh, thanks for thank watching. You, uh, like and subscribe somewhere here if you are still watching <laughs> that. And uh, thanks, guys. Yeah, really, thank you. Thank legends. You. Thank you.